our uh, one as notice from Ireland. It is uh, 9 p.m. here, so and apologies for my very bad Spanish. <laughs> um, I am a little bit rusty. Um, but my name is Karen McAvenu. I'm from the Technological University of the Shannon in Ireland, and I'm just going to give a quick presentation on just about our university, who we are, where we are, and what we have to offer you as a student. So first of all, who are we? Who is Technological Youth University of the Shannon or TUS? So we're Ireland's first cross-regional technological university. And I'll tell you a little bit more about the regions we're from in a moment. We have 15,000 students and 3,000 experienced staff to support those students, whether it's through lecturing, whether it's through student support services, or whether it's through the international office where I work. We're always here to support our students. We're a very international university as well, with over 100 nationalities represented. And we have a lot of opportunities for even more international uh, relationships with over 250 global partnerships at TUS. Our name is Technological University of the Shannon. So that name comes from the River Shannon, which is the longest river in Ireland, along which, which our campuses are based, which you'll see here. So you'll see this map here and you'll see a pink dot and a green dot. And those are our main campuses in Athlone and Limerick. And that black line between those is the River Shannon, where our name comes from. So first of all, where are we? Mexico is a long way from Ireland, um, but it is you know, a very, very welcoming place. And Ireland, to let you know a little bit more about us, we are a member of the European Union. So we're right beside the United Kingdom, the UK, but we're actually not part of the UK. We are members of the European Union. And we're actually the largest English speaking country in the EU, um, which is really significant for anyone thinking ahead to, you know, after they study as well, um, because we have some really great opportunities because of that. We are world recognized for our excellence in education. So Ireland is the land of saints and scholars. So that's, you know, we're very, very proud of the education system we have in Ireland. Because we are the largest English speaking country in the EU, we are home to many of the world's most successful globally traded companies. So in information technology, IT, we have companies like Facebook, like Google, like Apple. They all have their headquarters in Ireland, uh, Twitter. Um, other one, other um, types of industries are pharmaceuticals and medical technology. So we have Pfizer, uh, GSK, uh, AstraZeneca, we take places we came all too familiar with thanks to COVID-19. <laughs> But a lot of those companies have their headquarters in Ireland and are always looking for graduates in those areas. So huge, huge opportunities in those areas and in all the areas supporting it as well. For any parents worried about their, you know, their, their children going studying so far away, Ireland, you can rest easy at night knowing your child will be very safe. We're in the top 10 safest countries on earth. We're a very friendly country. Anyone who's ever visited always says about how friendly the people of Ireland are. And we're just a very, very safe place. And again, about the opportunities after you study. So for students who do their bachelor's in Ireland, you get a 12 month post study work permit. And for those who do their master's actually get a 24 month post study work permit. So that means you can go on, start your career in Ireland, with no conditions and then you can go and get your work visa after that if you want to stay even longer but you get a great, a great opportunity to get work in um in some of these amazing companies that have chosen ireland as their home as well as that you can work part-time while you're studying so you can work up to 20 hours per week while you study and ireland's minimum wage is quite generous it's nearly 11 euro per hour so it is a very high minimum wage working in Ireland. So you can really um, put money towards your living costs and everything doing uh, working part time. And we're getting into the summer months now. As a student, you can work full time during the summer as well. So there's some really important things to think of that, you know, you can help support yourself while you're studying too. A key also thing about Ireland with Mexico uh, is that there is no visa required. So you do not need a visa to come to Ireland to study from Mexico. You do need to register with our immigration service, but we help you with that. But you don't need to think about anything before you're coming over. 
So a little bit about then the locations on this map that I'm talking about, where our campuses are based. So our two main campuses are Limerick City Moilish and our Athlone campus. So Limerick is based in the uh, Midwest of Ireland. You would have seen in the kind of lower left of the map. And Athlone then is right in the centre of the country. I'll talk, tell a little bit more about these locations. But our Moilish campus hosts our faculties of business, humanities, IT, science and engineering. And our Athlone campus also hosts business, humanities, IT, science, engineering and design. Then we have three further satellite campuses where you can study in two in Tipperary, which are about one hour from Limerick City. Um, our Curlis campus is focused on environmental and sports programs. Our Limerick City Clare Street is our world renowned School of Art and Design. So if you are passionate about studying art and design at undergraduate or at postgraduate, I would recommend our Limerick City Clare Street campus. We have some really fantastic programs. And then our Tipperary Clonmel campus, it, it is focused uh, completely on digital arts pro programs. So creative digital media, really exciting campus where, uh, you know, you're really focusing on one specific type of area and you're surrounded by people also studying these types of programs. So a little bit more about the towns. Athlone, like I mentioned, is in the, it's right in the centre of the country. It's located in the heart of Ireland. We say if you throw a dart and it lands in the centre of Ireland, you're going to land in Athlone. So you're surrounded by the whole country. It's a hub of choice for nearly 30 multinational engineering, medical technology, biomedical, IT and polymer and financial services. So again, huge opportunities for you, even while you're studying and after you study. We're based on the River Shannon in Athlone, but also on the shore of Ireland's lakes. So if anyone really likes being in the outdoors, being one with nature, Athlone is a really beautiful place to live. You can really surround yourself with some beautiful nature there. As well as that, there's some real important cultural um, locations in Athlone. We have Europe's oldest pub <laughs> is located in Athlone, which I'm sure people will want to visit when they study there. Athlone is also actually home to what was Ireland's first university as well. So it's really had education there since, you know, the beginning of it. As well as this really important point, high quality accommodation and living standards for a far reduced cost. So your euro will go a lot further in Athlone than it might in other, other places in Ireland. And it's very accessible. So really great transport links with all of Ireland. So, you know, you can live in Athlone and still see the rest of the country too. It's about 1.5 hours to Limerick then. Then Limerick City is Ireland's third largest city and it's a commercial capital of the Midwest region. So again, all these types of companies I'm talking about are, have a lot of headquarters in Ireland. We're very accessible internationally. We're located just 15 minutes away from Shannon International Airport. So, you know, if you can flop, hop on a flight to Heathrow, you can be just 40 minutes away from Shannon Airport. So it's very easy to access us. It's a nice walkable, compact city. We're getting a rare spell of good weather at the moment in Ireland. So it's really lovely to walk around the city. It's around 25 degrees here at the moment, which we don't often hear about. But it's a lovely uh, small city and we always encourage getting a nice walk around it. It's globally recognised by UNESCO for learning excellence. So again, we're very proud of our education in Ireland and we really support lifelong learning. And an important thing when you're thinking about your life and living there as well, is Limerick is a really student orientated and young city. So we actually have three universities in Limerick City and nearly 50% of our population are under 35. So it's a nice, lively, young city to live in and a nice, exciting place. And it's always growing and developing. We're in Europe's top 10 cities and in attracting investment, growth and opportunity. And again, these important points, lower living costs. Your euro goes further than it would in the other cities of Ireland, such as Dublin, Cork, Galway. I always say it's nice to visit those places, but it's nice to live in Limerick. So then just a brief thing that we're going to look at in terms of the multinationals. I've spoken about it a lot already, but you can just see some an idea of some of the multinational companies that are working in the region and work, in fact, with our university. So we have places like Dell, Analog Devices, Intel and Ericsson and Uber, of course, which are in the digital and technology realm. Life sciences and healthcare, so Johnson & Johnson, Eli Lilly, Edwards, Regeneron, 
Eli Lilly, for example, has just invested in a multi-million euro campus here in Limerick City. So they're always looking for our graduates. Every day I see a new student on LinkedIn announcing that they have gotten a job in one of these places. So, you know, they're always seeking our graduates. Of course, these uh, types of companies need support in like financial and professional services. So there's multinationals from there coming too. So Northern Trust, EY, Deloitte. And then we have other really exciting things happening on our doorstep. So Jaguar Land Rover, for example, have um, a, a AI campus basically for self-driving cars. They're, you know, really developing that technology of electric and self-driving cars. So again, our research and students are involved in that. So very exciting things happening in the multinationals and right on our doorstep. Then accommodation, where would you live? <laughs> what is it like? And that's an important one as well. So we have really great accommodation options. We always work with our international students to make sure that they can secure safe and quality accommodation while they are studying. So the one you'll see here is our Craftlow Student Village in Limerick. So these would be uh, three bedroom um, Apartments, I suppose, is the best way to put it. Um, so you will share the living space with only two other students and be living in a community of students. So you still have your own private space for yourself. You can escape and have some quiet time for yourself. But you're also still in a community of students and, you know, making friends and having a social life. But you're not living in a very crowded environment either. So it's a really, really nice place. And that style of living follows across all our campuses as well. And of course, yeah, like I mentioned, we are on hand for guidance on suitable accommodation um, for when you're studying. Now, we've spoken a lot about where we are and, you know, everything like that. What can you learn at TUS? Pretty much anything. <laughs> so just to highlight the areas that we have for you to study in. So hospitality and tourism, our health science programs. So hospitality and tourism, for example, culinary arts, event management, travel and tourism management. Our health science, we have some nursing programs, veterinary nursing programs. Uh, we have, you know, all of, like I say, our pharmaceutical types of programs, our engineering programs. Uh, we have ones like mechanical engineering, electronic engineering, electrical, renewable, all of these types of engineering built environment. So we have all these companies growing in Ireland. We also have a lot of development happening. And this is an, an industry which is in huge, huge need of more graduates. So programs like quantity surveying, construction management, they're really interesting programs because they actually provide a 12 month paid work placement as part of them. So, you know, we are earning as you're studying as well. Applied science, we have things like pharmaceutical and forensic science as part of this as well. Then we have our business marketing and analytics. So marketing and management, digital marketing, Analytics is a huge sphere that's growing. So we have a master's in data analytics and master's in business analytics. Art and design is, a like I say, it's a world-renowned art school. So we have fashion design, graphic design, ceramics, um, photography, video, anything you can imagine really in art and design. We have a really fantastic program and a really great location for it. And of course, IT, like I say, um, IT is a huge, huge industry in Ireland, always calling out for graduates. The employment rate um, for our IT graduates is actually 110%, meaning there are not enough graduates to support the demand for jobs in that industry. So we have programs like software engineering, we have cybersecurity programs, we have cloud computing, artificial intelligence. So really exciting, advanced programs in, in the world that we're going forward into. I'm sure any student nowadays knows about chat GPT. So AI is a massive thing at the moment. And we do have masters in that area to you know, bring people into it as well. So, you know, if you have a program, then you, you decide you want to study. What are the entry requirements to actually get into these programs? So for our undergraduates, um, we look for an IELTS of six. And we do offer some pre-sessional English programs for those who do need extra support. And then essentially equivalent to high school is what we look for. So your grade 12 uh, high school is what we look for. Then postgraduate level, um, we look for a 6.5 IELTS with no band less than six. And again, an equivalent of an honours uh, bachelor degree in a related field of study um, dependent on the programme. And then, of course, academic references to go with that too.
for our tuition fees, um, our foundation program, where you, if you have not met the, uh, the uh, entry requirements for year one, you can do a foundation program, and that is 10,000 euro. We have for our undergraduate programs, they are 12,500 per year. And for postgraduate, it's 14,500 up to 18,500. We only have one program, which is 18,500, and that is our nursing masters. But generally, they're between 14 and 16,500. And of course, we do offer scholarships of up to 3,000 euro off any of our programs. So these can be academic scholarships um, or uh, what we call a president's scholarship, which is based on things like community work and stuff like that. In terms of the living expenses, this is based off of the Irish government uh, recommendations for uh, a year. So 10,000 euro is what is recommended. You can count that around 5,000 euro will be the cost of accommodation. Uh, while you're studying in Ireland. But like I mentioned, you can supplement by working part time and we do have a generous uh, minimum wage to help support that too. Um, and then, you know, we, I always say it depends on the lifestyle of a student for living costs. Uh, if you want to go out and party every night and eat out every night, it's going to be more expensive. But, you know, I always encourage students, you learn to cook before you come. Um, groceries in Ireland are actually quite inexpensive um, reasonably. Um, you know, we always give our students tips on which is the best grocery store to go to. So we make sure that they can help keep those costs down and make sure you have a nice affordable cost of living while you're studying here. So the application process, I won't go through this because uh, Letty in Student World will actually gen <laughs> will generally help the students to get through the, the um, application process. So she'll be able to assist on, on that. The student, student world will be able to assist on the application process. But in general, it's you, you just submit your, uh, your documentation and um, you know, you're, you're assisted through the process with, with student world. So ultimately, why TUS? We have really strong academic pro programs. We offer highly relevant programs with expert lectures. And these lectures come with real working uh, knowledge from industry. Um, we have excellent facilities, so we've stated our facilities, we have multiple international sports arenas, oh, I've gone the wrong slide, um, with a brand new STEM buildings underway, so we have a brand new engineering building, brand new science buildings being built. We have a very diverse and inclusive community with students coming from all over the world to study here, so it's a really rich and engaging uh, learning environment. One of the key things are our supportive and learning environment and our practical learning. These are two key things of why it's great to study at TUS. So we have small class sizes, uh, meaning you get can get far more time with your lectures. Your lectures can give you more one on one assistance, um, you know, in terms of, of studying. For example, our science classes. There's no more than 16 students in a, in a lab class for science students. So you're getting a lot of one-on-one -on -one direct learning with your lectures, with your tutorials, things like that. We also have a lot of you know, support in terms of our societies and student ambassadors and practical learning. So you, for you know, our programs, you can expect a highly practical way of learning. So again, with science, you're going to be in labs for a lot of the time. If you're in a construction program, I've seen the students out in high-vis jackets, you know, with their monitoring equipment out on, on the campus. Uh, for business programs, you're working with live companies and, you know, you're getting real life experience of what is an expected from you when you're working with clients. And of course, you have work placement opportunities on all of our programs as well. So not only are you getting the practical learning experience in the classroom, you're getting the opportunity to apply that in real life. And ultimately, all of that um, adds to the final point, which is our employability. Our TUS students are highly employable with employment rates for many of our programs, like I say, at 100 percent and above, <laughs> even if that seems impossible. Uh, but we have really, really high employment rates um, for our programs. And that's what we work really hard. We want our students to come out with a great career and a great future going forward. If you're interested in more information after today, here are some useful websites as well. So, of course, tus.ie. You can find out a little bit more about Athlone at www.athlone.ie and limerick.ie for our Limerick City and educationinireland.com to find out a little bit more about the education system in Ireland. Um, so thank you very, very much. And I open up to any questions at this stage. If you want, before we pass to the Q&A, I want just to sum up everything that we checked in the presentation. 
So the students have like all the information friends, so, so they know what are the tasks. So, muchas gracias por conectarse al webinar. Bueno, antes de pasar a la sesión de preguntas y respuestas, si van teniendo alguna pregunta que se les ocurra, pueden abrir su micrófono o pueden escribirle en el chat y le preguntamos directamente a Karen. Eh, para, antes de pasar a esta sesión de preguntas y respuestas, vamos a resumir rápidamente todo lo que dijo Karen. ¿no? Entonces, ahorita TUS, eh, TUS es la combinación de dos institutos tecnológicos, que es el de Limerick y el de Athlon que han juntado como toda su experiencia académica y todos sus, este, sus facilities, sus campus y todo eso para aumentar, o sea, en respuesta a la demanda académica y económica que está teniendo la región. Que como ya decía Karen, está creciendo muchísimo económicamente y muchas empresas importantes se están situando en esa zona. Entonces, tienen la ventaja de grandes posibilidades este, de trabajo una vez terminado su programa de estudio pero con un costo de vida mucho menor que Dublín, que si bien Dublín sigue ofreciendo muy buenas este, posibilidades este, de trabajo una vez graduado, eh, pues Dublín se ha vuelto como una capital muy cosmopolita que ya compite como el nivel de costo de vida a nivel de London y cosas por el estilo que pueden ser a veces complicadas, ¿no? Y también un estilo de vida como mucho más ajetreado y así. Entonces existen estas otras opciones como Limerick y Athlone, que ofrecen un estilo de vida mucho más económico, accesible, manteniendo el nivel de oportunidades de trabajo y el nivel académico ¿no? de, de las demás universidades. Entonces, TUS se ha conjuntado para ofrecer una amplia variedad de programas a un costo, la verdad, este, muy bueno comparado con la excelencia académica que, que ofrecen dentro de, de la universidad. Y pues, bueno, que ha sido como... Este, como una gran oportunidad realmente para el desarrollo académico y económico de la región de Midlands y Midwest. Entonces, pues ahora sí, si quieren, vamos a pasar a la sesión de preguntas y respuestas. Eh, we're going to pass to the questions and answers uh, session. I don't know, eh, si cualquiera tiene una pregunta, este es el momento para hacerla. Eh, no sé si alguien tenga alguna duda o algo que quisieran como que volviéramos a, a repetir. En lo que se deciden un poquito a preguntar, este, yo nada más les quería comentar también la ventaja de que al ser esta una universidad de reciente formación tecnológica, si ustedes quieren estudiar un, un bachelor, no es necesario el foundation el año extra que tendrían que estudiar en cualquier otra universidad este, tradicional de Irlanda, aquí no lo van a tener que hacer. Y el precio aunado a la beca hace muy, muy, muy accesible. De, es de las opciones que, teniendo una calidad académica y técnica muy importante, que les puede abrir puertas a muy buen nivel en muchas empresas este, en estos momentos eh, en Irlanda, no solo en la región de los Midlands, sino yo me atrevería a decir que en, en toda Europa, este, el precio es muy accesible. Entonces, eso eh, aunado a las prácticas profesionales que se ofrecen durante los estudios, les dan ya una conexión directa que, que, que les permite insertarse inmediatamente al terminar el mercado laboral. Y recordarles que si ustedes hacen un bachelor, puede ser un bachelor de tres años o de cuatro años, si fuera el de cuatro años, ustedes tienen un permiso de, de trabajo después de su graduación de un año y si hacen una maestría de un año, tienen un permiso de trabajo de dos años. Se pueden quedar a trabajar dos años, tiempo completo en Irlanda y eventualmente eh, prolongar este permiso hasta obtener eventualmente la residencia permanente. Entonces, esta serie de factores, la combinación de todos estos eh, factores de costo de vida, educación, eh, oportunidad en una ciudad de máximo desarrollo en Europa, calidad en la educación, prácticas profesionales y todo es lo que hace que los estudiantes terminen eh, muy bien posicionados, muy contentos y con posibilidades de desarrollo profesional muy buenas. Entonces, este, si alguno tiene alguna otra pregunta, por ahí este, también tenemos este, una escuela de inglés, los cursos de inglés con permiso de estudio y trabajo en Irlanda, en fin, que nosotros estamos aquí para, eh, con cada perfil, encontrar la mejor opción para ustedes este, en Irlanda, en Limerick, y, y, con, y si es con esta opción, sería una de las mejores opciones, pues con TUS. Karen, we have a question in the chat. There is someone asking about a doctor. 
PhD in uh, humanities. I think PhD also is always a little bit complicated to, to get in, no? I, I remember, or I recall when I was talking with uh, Plina and Fiona and Patrick, we usually suggest the students most of the times maybe to start with a master's degree and when they are in Ireland, then start like contacting the, the PhD um, professors so that they can enroll really in a PH, right? But exactly. I don't know, what is your opinion? No, I absolutely agree. I would have said that exact same thing. So uh, students can do, do a master's and that can count towards the PhD. So you can begin with a master's and then like you say, if you're interested in progressing to a PhD, you can can move forward with that, but absolutely, I recommend that you ground with a master's initially. Um, PhDs and masters by research would go through through our research office, but if if students have questions about that, we can happily link them with that. But absolutely, I would recommend masters first, then development to PhD. It all is it all goes as one one path anyway. Ok, sí. Nosotros, por ejemplo, en esta clase de programas de investigación, lo que dice Karen Letty es muy importante, que por un lado son este, difíciles de acceder, entonces la manera más fácil de entrar a esa clase de programas es hacer una maestría primero y de ahí aplicar hacia el doctorado. Y eso ya se hace directamente con el departamento de investigación de la universidad. Este, no sé si hay alguna otra pregunta aquí en el chat, a ver si el comentario de Letty. Y, Y bueno, o sea, solo como para cerrar, I don't know if anybody has any other questions or any other comments. Uh, do you want to add anything, Karen? Or no, no. I think if anyone has any any questions, uh, you know, to link with Student World and and you know, we can have a conversation with that with that as well. But uh, you know, that ultimately, if there's any thing uh you know we're here to help with it we have I've listed the kind of contact we have there and I suppose check out things like our Instagram things like our Twitter just to see what we're up to at the moment we try our Instagram is probably where we're most active so that's a good place to keep an up-to-date <laughs> idea of what's happening at TUS but no um I nothing additional to add but thank you very much for for the time and thank you everyone for taking the time to come uh come to this webinar this evening or this today sorry i keep forgetting the time difference <laughs> um, but thank you very much for taking the time to to come and listen sí pues muchísimas gracias a todos a todos los que les gustaría como recibir más información que entraron ahorita sin el nombre con el que se registraron les pedimos de favor que nos dejen su teléfono o su correo con el que se registraron o un teléfono o correo aquí en el zoom donde podamos como tener contacto con ustedes Y pues recuerden que nosotros somos Student World y nosotros somos los representantes de TUS aquí en México. Entonces, cualquier duda que tengan, pueden pedirnos una asesoría con nosotros. Les vamos a mandar esta grabación para que la tengan. Si no alcanzaron a verla completa o si quieren como volver a revisar algunos puntos, este, les vamos a, a mandar la grabación a su correo y este para que puedan tener acceso a ella. ¿va? Y, y pues no sé si... Si no hay nada más por agregar, les agradecemos mucho que, que hayan venido por su tiempo y pues cualquier cosa estamos a su orden. ¿está? Muchísimas gracias. Muchísimas gracias. Y pues lo mismo, si alguien más quiere dejarnos en contacto, por favor, ahí en el chat se les agradece. Voy a detener la grabación. Y muchísimas gracias a todos por haber asistido a, a, al programa y aquí estamos igual como dice Adriana para cualquier información extra que necesiten este por increíble que les parezca pero si alguno todavía quiere inscribirse para iniciar este septiembre o sea con muchísimo gusto los podemos ayudar a darle trámite y agilidad a su aplicación eh, la verdad es que ya tenemos bastante experiencia y trabajamos muy de cerca con la universidad Así que podemos agilizar todos los trámites, eh, todo lo que necesiten. Entonces, cualquier cosa o si tienen dudas, si quieren un Zoom eh, para dudas muy concretas y específicas que tengan o para ayudarles con su proceso de aplicación, no tiene ningún costo y con mucho gusto los podemos asesorar. Muchas gracias, Karen. Gracias a ti, U.S., por estar aquí. Yeah. Gracias, everyone. Thank you. Bye, bye. bye. Let me... Bye.